What is up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, today we are going to be putting on the M4 Street Slayer exhaust. So it finally came in, I'm super stoked. Um, it did take about three weeks to get here, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but they, I, I understand supplies right now uh, with COVID ending and everything else going on in the world, it's hard to get material. But anyways, it's finally here. I'm super excited to put it on. The old stock exhaust will be coming off, so um, this rear end will be cleaned up a little bit and it'll sound so much better. So I'm really excited. Um, for a start, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drop the camera over here. We'll start it up quick. Uh, let you guys hear the stock exhaust on cold start. I'm not gonna rev it just because I want it to be cold to still work on. Um, and then you can hear somewhat of a cold start with the M4. So I'll move this over and uh, we'll get that little exhaust clip going. So here is the exhaust on the stock 2021 ZX6R. It's not much of a start, but like I said, I want to keep it nice and cold so that we can get working on it and not burn myself. So to get the new exhaust on, what we're going to have to do is take off the old muffler and the old secondary. Um, and then the M4 Street Slayer actually attaches right to the end of where the uh, headers come off. Uh, so all of this will be coming off. The first step in taking all of this off is to take your muffler off. And I have done this previously already because I've been running it with just the secondary for a little while. Um, so there's two bolts here on this shield that will come off. And then there's a little um, rubber piece that locks in up here. Um, and you just kind of pull that down. Uh, at first I tried pulling it up and like moving it around and stuff and I couldn't figure it out. But there's just a little clip in here that slides over this. Um, and so you want to take that piece off and that is going to expose uh, the bolt for the clamp down here, uh, which is going to be on the back end. And then you'll loosen that guy up. You'll take this bolt out, which does have a nut that goes on the back. I just don't have it installed. Uh, and then this will come off after you get the servo out. And the servo I had already previously taken out. Um, it's not very difficult to, to do. The hardest thing is getting it through the framing. Um, and what I ended up doing is I disconnected it from this piece right here. Um, and I, I just basically pulled the wires and lifted them up over this uh, so that you could get the pin out. And then I fed the wires back through the framing. I will say when you are going back through the framing, uh, I found it easier to kind of like help feed the back end of the wire through here and then kind of tug from the top. Um, you'll have to feed it all the way through to where the servo is, but once you get it past this frame, uh, it all kind of slides through pretty easy. Just remember to take it out of the clips that are holding it um, right about here on this plastic piece. So yeah, now we will go ahead and take this heat shield off and then start working on getting the secondary off. So the size for the heat shield, um, there's little Allen bolts on here, there's three of them. Uh, you'll want to use a five millimeter um, Allen wrench or just Allen key if you have one. Get those guys loose and then they're not very far through in there. Uh, they come off pretty easy after you get them broke loose. And just turn those guys off. Just act like a goodie. And that guy pops off. Um, it did sound like it was still attached somewhere, but I think it was just the rubber uh, heated up over to this. Um, this little knot where the Allen goes in. Um, but other than that, it just kind of pops right off. Now, getting this secondary off. I can say I'm not too sure what exactly we're supposed to do with it. Looks like there is another Allen right here that'll need to get taken off. And I think I might loosen up this shield, this uh, plastic here. 
and that is a different size, um, just so I can get to the bolt that's down here a little bit easier. So get this guy figured out. I'm gonna sit down because it's hurting my legs. Five thirty seconds. It looks like it will work. It's pretty tight, so yeah, that works just fine. This one is a little bit tighter, probably further than a little bit further, but it starts coming out. It does have a little washer on it, so we want to make sure we keep that washer nearby. Oh yeah, once you get that one off, this is pretty pliable. So yeah, it does look like you're gonna wanna remove, there's another Allen um, pin right here. Uh, we wanna get that guy removed. Let's see if it was the same size, that five. No, it's definitely bigger. Let's try a six. Oh yeah, six fits right in there. So we'll go ahead and get that six in there. And break this guy loose. She is on there. I need to grab a little hammer and do a little uh, loosening work on that. I don't want to strip anything, so. Let me see if I got any more tools that we could use to help us out here. Alright, let's see if we can break loose with this bad thing. Just really bad it's just that time we wrench, so. Sorry if I'm obstructing your view here. Interesting a bit there. Okay, so I think that's pretty much loose except for the clip holding onto the header. Uh, so we'll get that guy pulled off here next. Now, worn out by the exhaust was a 10 mil. Looks like this one is going to be about the same. So we'll grab that and try and get that bad boy off. Oh yeah, I shouldn't take. Now I'm not gonna take this all the way off. I'm gonna see if I can just slip it on without taking it off because if you pull that bolt out, it's kinda hard to get back into the clip. Oh yeah, she's loose. So, I'm trying to go ahead and slip this secondary off and make sure you guys got a decent view. I'm kind of blocking it, I'm gonna move it over here. That should help you see it a little bit better. Go ahead and pull this guy off. So these clips kind of get in the way when rotating it, and this really hugs the tire. Uh, so I did have to kind of force it this way so that we could get it off. Um, but after you do that, it, it kind of comes right out. There's not much holding it on after you get those two bolts up. Here, I'll give you guys a look inside. 
So the secondary muffler, if you look inside here, hold on, let me focus it again. Um, she's got some holes on the inside, which let the gases escape to the chambers. Um, kind of quiet it down. It probably does do quite a bit for deadening the exhaust sound. So. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Um, I do like that. I guess everybody likes to hear them when they're just the headers. So I'll start it up quick. I can't run it long just because I am, uh, I have neighbors around, but we'll just do a quick little quick start. Ooh. That's very loud. So I'm not gonna do that very long. Um, if I was out on the road somewhere, it'd be a different story, but. Wow. All right, so let's show you guys this M4 exhaust quick. Now, I do apologize because I didn't save the unboxing for you guys. Um, I was just too excited. Um, I really wanted to see this. I've been waiting on it for a while. But here she is. I mean, this thing looks beautiful. The carbon fiber on it is amazing. Uh, it does still have the baffle on the inside. Um, and I'll probably keep it in there for a little bit of time, but I'll probably end up taking it out at some point. Um, but it looks very good. Um, so let's go ahead and get this guy put into place. It does look like, grab this quick. It comes with instructions, which I don't think we're gonna need. It's a pretty simple installation. Uh, but I will need this bolt that it comes with, so we're gonna take that out. Get this in the box out of the way. Hopefully it bolts this side. Let's go ahead and get this slid in here. Oh yeah, she slides right on in there. And that's what she'll look like. God, that looks beautiful. Slide this guy all the way through. We get our bolt started on the back, and we want to find the, the size that needs to be on there. All right. Now let's go ahead and get everything kind of cinched down here. Now, uh, it looks kind of like a 10 mil. Uh, sorry, I'm going back and forth trying to figure out the parts I need. Uh, let's see here. It's definitely bigger than a 10 mil. So, let's try a 12. That might be a little bit closer in size. Yeah, 12 is where she's at. I'll test the back end quick. 12 is where she's at. So, don't mind the blood. We cut ourselves every now and then, not on purpose, but you know, vehicles, they like to bite you. Interesting. Did I not grab a 12? Oh, I grabbed a 10. That was hard on it. No wonder it wasn't fitting over that. Alright. There we go. Now she's on there. We'll go ahead and get this fed on our ratchet. Just start tightening this thing up. Nice. Love that. Hey, I'm two for two on these little bloopers. You guys gotta love that. Easy.
just gonna tighten up the clamp. She'll be ready to go, guys. That's quite exciting. Where did I put? Oh, I put it back. My ten mm socket. Socket. God, that looks amazing. I love the look of the carbon fiber. I really do. That just makes my day. Tight. And then we'll put our plastic back on, move the camera, and we'll start her back up. Let's see. What did you use? Now I'm 3 0. that hold these panels on because they have kind of a lip to them and that lip does a really good job of making sure the plastics get guided back into the hole where they're supposed to be so that all looks pretty good so yeah. and there you go the m4 exhaust is installed so we'll go ahead and start her up and decide if i want to take that baffle out or not Alright, let's see what she sounds like, shall we? Yeah, I think the bath is coming out. Let me move over here and see kind of what I see. I'm going to take you guys off quick. Let's stand and show you this. So, inside the exhaust here, if you look in there, there's like a little block off way in the back. And then there's some holes in the side and on the bottom. You can't really see them, but they're, they're right down there. And they're on all four sides. That's the baffle. We're going to take it out by taking that bolt out. Um, and I got my little bolt list here so we'll figure out what size that is I'll let you guys know and then we'll take that guy off squeaky 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 So it's a four. So if you guys have a four, you'll be all set to take this off. Go ahead and get my ratchet ready so we can get that going. Take that baffle off. All right. Oh, she's too small. No bueno. That's all right, I got it keys. Alright, so I got my four sides down here. Go ahead, take this bad boy out.
once that bolts out, the baffle should just come on out. And that's the baffle, so it stops the gases from escaping directly through, pushes it through the exhaust, and then out through these holes here, and then lets it escape. So I'll go ahead and set the camera up behind this, um, and then once we do that, we'll give you a little start up and some revs or something like that coming out. job to M4. I love the way this exhaust looks. Looks absolutely gorgeous. She's smoking a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. She got a little bit of smoke popping under there. Anyways, that's the exhaust. It looks absolutely stunning on the bike. Um, as you can see, we do still have the cats and a muffler, so technically this is st still street legal. Um, I do like how one of my foot sits up here. It'll probably sit here, so it's, it's pretty close, but not close enough to cause any damage, uh, I think. I guess we'll find out. Um, next, I think we'll take out these passenger pegs, uh, just because I'm not sure I really want them there. I want to take those off, clean this up a bit. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take those pigs out. I do know legally I'm supposed to have them on there if I have a passenger seat, um, but I will be changing that. I'll be getting some sort of cow at some point. Um, so that, sorry for the wobbles, I'm trying to get this lifted up for you. Um, some sort of cow, uh, and then it will not have a passenger seat anymore. And once that is done, I won't technically need them, but I probably won't be riding this with a passenger. Uh, I, my girlfriend's not into that, so, which is fine. That's her choice, but yeah, that looks really good with the bike. I really like the way that looks. That looks amazing, so let's get this move that around. Let's see about taking these guys off. Now, if they're super tight, I might leave them on there for now. Um, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of them, so, uh, it looks like it's the same size, uh, as that one big bolt that was down there, that six. Let's see how tight these are. Oh, they're not bad. Yeah, these are kind of bad. We'll take these bad guys off. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're not bad. Those with 70% strength. Yeah, I like how that looks. I really like how that looks. And I know it might not be everybody's preference, but, you know, I built this bike for me. And I think that looks really good, so. I'll take these guys back in here. Just so I don't get all the muck and everything in there. They probably look a little funky. I'll get some cover up bolts at some point. Same size, but you know, they actually sit all the way down. These ones don't sit all the way down, and I'll probably try and get black. These get pretty close to sitting all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other side off too.
guys think about that in cost? And uh, if you have any questions about it, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, obviously, I'm not, I don't know everything. I'm just dropping everything. There. But obviously, I don't know everything, but um, I can definitely try and help. Um, if it's hard to research it, I'll do what I can to research it. We'll find an answer for you. Um, that's what it's all about, so. I'll just get these guys on here. Pigs are off, exhaust is on, and man, does that look good. I, I love how that looks, so. Let me know what you guys think, if you like it, if you hate it. Other than that, guys, that is going to be the video for today, so if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Um, trying to build this uh, channel up. Uh, so if you guys, there's any content that you guys want to see, if there's any parts that you might want to put on yours that you haven't seen yet, um, let me know. I might look into it and we can see about how to go about installing that. Um, but yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.